This video is brought to you by StoneAgeGamer.com, a fantastic site for retro games, systems, accessories, and more. Be sure to check out StoneAgeGamer.com. Skip it up and that up. So Microsoft, man, you, you woke up this morning, you pop one of your smart pills, and you're thinking. Because now, if you own an Xbox 360 or Xbox One, apps like Netflix and Hulu, so on and so forth, I have a list here I'm going to read to you will no longer be behind the Xbox Live Gold paywall. Here is a list of some of the apps that are going to be removed from the paywall. You could just be a regular Xbox Live customer and now take advantage of these apps. Some of the apps that will no longer be behind the paywall are Skype, OneDrive, OneGuide, Netflix, YouTube. YouTube was behind a paywall? Really? Hulu, Machinima, Twitch, Univision Deportes, I think I'm saying that right, GoPro, Red Bull, HBO Go, and the sports services that they have on Xbox Live will no longer be behind the paywall as well. So, okay, fine, this is a good thing. They're finally waking up and realizing this is absolutely retarded to have all of these apps behind a paywall. Here, here here's my golf clap for you, Microsoft. But here is the part I never understood, okay? One, there's a billion other ways to use Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Skype, so on and so forth that are free. You don't, not free. Like, obviously, you have to pay for Netflix. You have to pay the monthly fee for Hulu. But I could use my Amazon Fire TV, which I'm actually reviewing that. I just got one. Um, I could use my computer. I could use a billion, my cell phone, and hook up an HDMI cable, hook it to my TV, and I don't have to be behind, there. the app isn't behind some paywall that I have to have the privilege, so I have to give you the privilege of $60 a year to use an app that I already pay for on a console that I already purchased when there's a billion other pieces of hardware that I could use Skype on, that I could use Hulu on, that I could use Netflix on, and YouTube? I mean, look, I'm glad Phil Spencer's, you know, he, he's the head dude in charge, and I'm sure he's part of the reason why this is all happening. I mean, the PS3, you don't have to pay anything to watch Netflix or Hulu on there. It's free. You just pay the monthly fee to Netflix or Hulu. Same with the PS4. Same with the Wii U. All your competitors are letting this happen for free. I'm surprised it took you this long, Microsoft, but whatever, again... It's better late than never. I mean, I guess they looked at it like, hey, if you own an Xbox, more than likely you have Xbox Live Gold. So, you know, you're already paying a 60 a year and it'll give an incentive to people who don't have Xbox Live Gold to get it. But I don't know. That was a pretty, that was a kind of like a bullying business tactic. It wasn't really that ethical, I guess you could say. But whatever. Again, it's better late than never. I just don't know why it took them so long, but still a good thing. I'm glad to see that Microsoft is waking up between this and getting rid of the Kinect and making the Xbox One cheaper. The future of the Xbox One is definitely looking brighter. And then on top of it, if you add in a Sunset Overdrive, which looks really damn cool, hopefully it is as good as it looks, hey, you know, that's a great exclusive for Microsoft to have if it ends up being a good game because looks can be deceiving, but that's a different story. All right, guys, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.